So what we'll do is we'll do a very quick start. Yeah, and like explain what we're going to be doing today. So I'm Antonia and I'm the owner of Little Learners Gates Ed West. I've been a franchisee with Little Learners now for four and a half years. It's going to be five years in January. And with me today doing Salto, we've got... What's your name? Adriana and I'm five. <laughs> She's just turned five during the lockdown. And we've got the absolute terror that is Amara, who's one and a half. Um, who just rules the roost. You're doing your soldier marks already? Yeah. We'll bring it here. Yeah. Come round here. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what we're going to do. So we're going to very quickly get warmed up and we're going to yeah. show everybody yeah. all of our characters. So do you want to hold that one? Adriana, do you want to get that? I'm going to have the purple one. And what we're going to show them is our first mark maker that we use at Little Learner. So our mark makers help us do our marks in our messy play classes is Lionel. So Lionel does straight lines so we go up and down well done girls up and down and Lila also likes to go side to side well done Amara as well so if you do this at home we're going to get ourselves all warmed up to make yeah, some salt you are huge on the computer aren't you so Lionel's all our straight lines then with our rainbows can we go over the rainbow Good rainbows, Adriana. And then can we go under the rainbow as well? Big under the rainbows. Up, up. It's like an up for umbrella, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Because there's, there's a number of uh, uh, umbrella. So the, so the up, the over is where the puddle is. And, yes. And the, the rainbow and the, goes over the puddle. And the and the umbrella, and all that is the umbrella. And Mama, you bring that round here. We're going to meet Swirlo now. Get your, get your ribbon. That's it. So Swirlo is our magic mark maker. You can get in this in a minute. Is our magic mark maker. And Swirlo is all about circles. So if we go big round the circle. You're not getting the flower just yet. Get your ribbon. Get your scarf. And then can we do really fast circles? Go round, 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 round. Well done. And then our last mark maker that helps us during our classes is Ziggy. And Ziggy is our monster uh, mark maker. Zigzag. And Adriana's doing it. He's look, all about look, our zigzags. Look. Can you do some big monster zigzags? Like that's right, but the vase. And the, the vulture. And vulture. Oh, lovely word. And then if we do some zigzags from the top to the bottom. Top, bottom, top. We're going to start up high and we're going to zigzag down to the ground like this. And back up high and zigzag down low. Can we do a clap? Really, really fast. Go, 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 some salt dough. Now we're going to be making some of our lockdown family prints um, that you might have seen lots of people make and so I'll bring us a little bit closer. So here's the one that we made the other day. Uh, it's got Mammy, Adriana's and Amara's handprints and we put lockdown 2020 in our ages and our names. And our names. We have Let's just have a look, see if anyone's put any comments while I'm next to the laptop. Can you see us? Emma says you heard you say vulture before. How? It's the kind of word that Adriana would come out with. And, 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 so everyone, to make your salt dough, we need to have flour, salt and water. Now the flour is uh, one cup of flour to half a cup of salt and half a cup of water. So do you want to get your flour and pour it in your bowl? Yeah. We've already measured ours out just to save a little bit of time. Not the whole thing goes in like that. And then it goes to the side. 
Maybe a half a cup of salt. Salt. I'm going to mix that in as well. Ah. Then yeah. we've got our half a cup of water. So if you this, pour that in. This one. Yeah, it And now we've got to use our muscles that we've just warmed up to mix it. Very gently. It's fine. That's why I put the tree out. So we're going to mix it around. Now the the best thing about salt dough is to make sure that you, you get the consistency right. So it's need lots of need, and if you don't need it, it can make it um break when it is drying. And if it's not got enough water and it's too dry, you can help in two minutes. Do you want to stir it? Well, then you have a little stir. So yeah, if it, if when you're My mixing muscles. it, your muscles. If you, when you're mixing it, if it seems to be a little bit wet, keep going, and then it might be that you need a little bit of flour. If it's a little bit dry, you might need to add a little bit of water, but just do little bits at a time. And, and what we need to get is a consistency a bit. where it's a little yeah. bit like play doh, so that you can hold and pick it up. So sometimes it's just best to go in with your hands. Why? We like getting messy here, so let's get in with our hands. We're going to mix it around. Well, am I still wet? Please? Am I still wet, Mum? So we'll give it a good mix. And look. It's fine, I've got some water in a towel over there. Okay, should I wipe it? If you want, there was some water in the little tub. And then there's a towel just next to it. So yeah, Adriana's is still a little bit wet. So Adriana's might need a tiny little bit of water. You don't need to wash your hands. You're going to come and play with us, Mara? Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to make sure, oh, okay. once it's in it, it's the flower. We're going to make sure we've got lots and lots of flour where we're going to be putting the salt around. Are you coming around? in yours. Why? Just to get it a little bit. Hard. Mm-hmm. Like so there, you see how it's all sticking together into a ball? Yeah. That's how we want it to be. Yes. So we're going to put some flour out on your mat. And then we're going to pop it on oh, this a little bit more. Amara, baby, come around here. Bring this, bring the bucket around here. Yeah. Mm. Nobody wants to see your bum on a Thursday morning. Why? Because we see enough of our bum, don't we? What? Right. So you use this one. Yeah. I don't can see it. Right. So can you push and squeeze that together? That's it. This is why I said we should have tied your hair back. She insisted on wanting everyone to see our beautiful hair. Go on then. Your is the face. You go out with Dad. You go to garden too. We're just going to show everyone how we do this. And I'm just going outside. And she's going to play out. Right, so now we've got it all together in a ball. We're going to roll it out so that we can choose what we're going to make. I'm going to make a butterfly again. So for those that um, want to do the handprints, you, depending on how many handprints you want to do, you might need to double up on the, the, the salt dough so that you've got a, a bigger amount. Um, you want it to be rolled out I so want, that it's... I want to be Cutter, yeah. You want it so it's rolled about, you don't want to say, so it's, say two centimetres if it's going to be a big one. Um, the, the thicker the bigger, the longer it will take to dry. Um, so make sure you've got plenty of flour down because it does get sticky. Um, we'll put some more flour on here. So it, it, it's going to 
do it where you can do without hand prints, which you can make salt or decorations and shape cutters. So we've got some of our cutters here. So we've got some stars, which Ziggy would love, circles, swirlo. We've got a flower arch our rainbow would love because it's got lots and lots of arches on. If you don't have any um, cookie cutters or play doh cutters um, while you're doing this, use things around the house. So you can use like bowls, which can cut really good, and um, you can use just, just anything. Um, if you wanted to do a single hand print, like a baby's hand would maybe fit into this circle, or for Adriana's hand, we might look at something like a bigger shape. Um, Examples, and I'll show you. Well, Adriana, good roll in there. You're gonna cut it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just wanna use the cut out. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be the And we have at the bottom. Mammy's here. Adriana's. In the so that's gonna be our family one. I'm gonna paint that one up to date because ah, it took a while yeah. to dry. I just it just keep going. I'll do, I'll do what I'm going to say, okay? This is one of our little shapes that's dried. Um, so we've got a star here. And Adriana wants to do a star design. I'm going to paint on top of it and put some glitter on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so um, and this is a one that Adriana wants to do. So when she goes back to school, because you just want to school, I'm going to do this. I can try and show you a little bit clearer. She's put both her handprints together so that it looks like a butterfly. So her thumbs are the body and her fingers all the way. So we pick this up so little. And I'm going to watch So this one is going to be something she's going to take to school. Destruction. Found this anyway. So if you've got a straw, it's got a perfect circle on it, and it's literally like a cover, so you could put the circle out, and then I don't know if you can see that it's already got a hole in it. So when it dries, it would just be a little a matter of threading through some um red hole. We've got pipe cleaners here. It's just broke because it's wet. Um, but once you've got the shape that you want, the best way to do it, so this here is really flowery surface to make sure it doesn't stick. Um, but sometimes it's best to actually put it straight on a baking paper, which I've found because it can sometimes be that it, it loses its shape when you pick it up. So if you do it straight onto the baking paper, you can just lift it up. Now you can either dry it naturally which is the probably the better way to dry it or you can bake it on low the same thing that I do and um, like three four on top of five hours and just like dry um we got to yes try to got it on Everyone likes me when I do a face. 
So yeah, um, the drying process is the part of salt door that does dry. Um, you can test it dry before you can even think about it. So if you have a hand print, um, you would want it so that you don't press the hand print all the way through the salt door. You would want it so that it is just literally a print, um, but enough so that you can see it and paint it. When it's dry and it shouldn't really change, it is. This is starting to go sticky. Yeah, well, that's not a good example. Well, I but it should be so that it's ever so slightly um just pushed into the soil. Then it will dry. Are you gonna show? Lift it up a bit higher. That's it. So yeah, so um, hand prints, um, it would be just to push it in, don't push down too far because it might get stuck on a, under the surface, just so that lift it, this is it, it? it? Oh, I've seen a design which we tried the other day and we didn't get it, uh, it, it, it was very good, but it, uh, the, the biggest person in your family, so daddy maybe, they do their first hand print lightly. And then the so mommy would maybe press exactly the same on top. So that so that bones and then it would be so that all the hands are on top and the biggest at the back of the and then the littlest or Mara would be one that would push that little bit harder. Um and hers would be the stick in the in the middle. Yours would be in the middle. And the model would be at the very back. Uh, she would be on, she would be the last one on the little list. Yeah. So once you've got your door, like I say, when you can leave it, some can take about seven years to dry fully. Um, you want the top definitely dry and obviously the, the bottom can be the last thing. We put it off into the air don't we? Yeah, because um, you... So that the air gets in because you can move it. That looks fantastic. We'll put that one in the oven in a minute. So we can do some more afterwards. We'll get really short on how we paint them as well. Uh, everyone loves it now, look. Oh, yeah. So, once they are dry, like I say, that can take quite a long time to do. Um, we like to paint ours. Um, you paint, you could stick glue and on the side. And I don't really have to do that. That's going to show you your inner hands. We've got some that we're going to paint now, just so you can see. Um, the one of the little tips that I'd like to give is when it is dry, do a very quick paint. So that does stand out. Um, even if you want to paint the background, it kind of gives a base for all the other colours because Salto is different. So that it's a little bit of a colour and Mammy's going to do 
Herbo. Have you done something? This one's the one that we did it's with like. all of us are on. Like. This mummy's hand here. What's gonna be for dad? What colour should we do, Dad? Uh, orange. Orange? Yeah, that's a beautiful colour. It that. is a beautiful colour, isn't it? Now, you'll be so freaked out when you're You'll be so freaked out, will you? Yeah. So I'm just going to be quick so you can see like the um how the print shows up on the um on the board. So that's that's my hand there. Just quickly painting it. Um I can add a brush one because I need to do purple for the other one. Another brush? Yeah. There you have that one. Thanks. Now another little thing that you can do is just while the paint's wet is you could add some glitter and um, so I've just done a purple hand there but I'm going to do some glitter. Just the paint is still wet. I want, I want I'm going to directly put it under the wet paint on the next. So there's a lovely sparkly hand. So it saves any kind of glare on top of the um of the paint. And we're gonna finish these ones if they just finished. But the last thing that we can do is I don't know that any of you were doing the the paint and the rocks. Yeah. That was the, the thing last year and people are still doing them. Well we bought loads of sharp pens um which are great for writing onto these um so we've got this massive thing of sharpies and um, so any kind of pen mainly permanent marker would work um and then it would just be a matter of getting your pen and writing on anything that you like so we quite like the oh but we'll blow it up oh but it looks like a sparkly yeah you see if you can finish that off because I'd love to show everybody that at the end because that looks absolutely amazing. So something yeah, we like to put um is like whose handprint it was. Um so I put mum on there and then underneath each handprint whose handprint it was, Daddy, Mara, Adriana. We did try and get a dog print. How people get dog print, I do not know. Um, our dog's called Mojo. Um, and we couldn't. And it just literally ended up salt everywhere. So if anyone's got a tip on how to get dog prints, I'd love to you. Because have one with all of us on, wouldn't okay, we? Okay, now I've done it. I'm going to pick up glitter on mine. What glitter would you like? We're going green in here. That's all I've brought in. Uh, blue. You want blue and where do you want the blue? Uh, both of them, both of them. Very gently, you do it. The silence, actual silence. Okay, Nelly done. Nelly done. Fantastic, right, I'm going to end. Try and see about this glitter. Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. We'll try and thing it up afterwards. Do you want to show everyone your glitter one? So that's her glitter rainbow. Uh, sorry, butterfly. So we're going to draw on. Do you want to draw some little antennas on so that you can tell that it's a, a butterfly? A butterfly. Grey. Mm -hmm. Can you see it or do you need a darker pen? Darker pen. Because that one doesn't work. What is it black? Look, still black. I think it's black. Well, so I'm going to quickly have a look and see if anyone's asked any questions. Has anyone got any questions about them? I'm going to end it there.